I've always thought in images and ideas, but they're not worded ideas. They're, they're, they're I've always felt like th my insides were sort of uh, like that blue copy paper, that, that everything was imprinted on me and I was just talking back out of that with images. It's a different type of language. It's just going to step in that, unless I've recompressed it at the moment, but I won't do that. Can you start it again from the beginning so I can have a look at it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't, have a, I don't have bang, a moving place. Bang, bang, I came down to Canberra and was taken through the belonging exhibition and it was described to me that we were looking at a, a new approach um, to putting up exhibitions, you know, much more sensitive to Indigenous work and, and displays. So I was looking at the, the silverware, which I don't really like, and I noticed that they were in, in these vitrines, and I'd just been told that we were looking at a different way of displaying. And then I noticed that I looked over to the side that the Indigenous shields were just hanging on a bit of wood on the wall. And I found that discrepancy really challenging. And I asked about it and I was told, oh no, but these 1830s silverware are very rare. You know, uh, and and then I was informed that they can't be touched because one touch of a thumb will wear them away. And I mean, I actually love that idea. Let's put them out in the rain. Let's put them near the sea and let's watch what happens to them. I feel like that we're holding on to some very strong colonial views without actually realising how entrenched they are. So that made me want to collapse the whole museum. I actually I work um, particularly with a, with a guy called Josh Raymond. We work together on a lot of projects. So we start cutting cutting things out in Photoshop. We get the images we want, and you know we cut so many things out, and we don't use so many things because it's a case of trial and error. You bring that is that the right butterfly? Is that the right bird? You know, was Lake George the right scene to have? I really wanted Lake George because I wanted it to come back to Canberra. When people come to look at the work, what I want them to, to take away a questioning of, of the way we set museums up and what it means to collect. What does it mean for people to go around, to come into a country uh, like Australia, as Banks did, and start naming everything after himself and, and categorising and making judgments and you know, killing birds and putting them in trays and, and, and you know, what was that about? What, what was it about? I just get a little bit terrified of, you know, because I won't be able to see what the work looks like till it's up. I've got no idea what that's going to look like. Um, I think what's hard as an artist is that everything looks a bit like you and so you feel a little bit shy of it at the same time as being very excited by it, so, yeah.